Lady Street, you can see that the sky is clearing. We've just been under a really heavy cloud, intermittent, but really heavy cloud. You can see ahead of us, it's clearing now. And here we are, heading into the sunshine, heading into clear blue skies. Woke up in the middle of the night, you can just hear the rain hammering down. this morning and oh it's gonna be an awful day but looking ahead as you can see when we spin you around it's cleared up a hell of a lot since we got past Preston almost at Lancaster yeah should be alright morning again okay lovely lovely clear crisp morning I think we might get some snow in a bit so we're in the lakes again we just parked near um, a place called Rigghouse End and today we're ascending up there as you can see we're going to do Great Dodd and Rays today see the lambs and the sheep in the field all chilling trying to keep warm look at that view amazing looks like the Alps right let me get my boots on oh, get my bag on hat gloves it's a bit crispy crispy crisp this morning so yeah off we go here we are kitted up as you can see and the ascent begins now just walking across this road bit and then we'll ascend to Clough Head first of all I think the route today is about 20k something like that so we'll get a mooch on and as the afternoon or late morning goes on, gonna get a bit of cloud, might get a bit of snow. Just down here will follow us rain, up there will be snow. Crack on, try and do a decent rate of knots today. And we'll see how we go. Check in with you shortly, guys. Okay, so on the road, you just trundle along a bit. You'll see clearly where it is, a sign for Fawnside Farm. So if you turn right of the road, head up this track, and all the mossy walls on the right and left hand side. Look at that, Blencathra there with the sun on it. It's gorgeous that. Amazing. And that guys is where we're heading up. So it's a steeper scent to start with. Traveling through the little uh, group of houses there, group of buildings. All the geese start going mental. Guard geese. Oh, attack of the geese. Alright. Need to check that I'm going the right way. Up. Oh, is that the right way? I would have thought so. Nice little tree house there. Oh. In the process of building a swing as well. I love that as a kid. Right, here we go. Through the gate, up the side of that woodland. Ooh. And that ascent looks steep. with a little sign pointing to it for us. Yeah, as I said last time, no chance of me making the sun rise as it gets closer and closer to the solstice or middle of end of June. So, get out of here as early as I can anyway. But driving here, 
even the M6. You can just see the, the sun coming over the horizon, making all the hills change orange. I kind of go in there, you know, on the tops when that happens, but what can you do? We had all contraption for shutting a gate there. Right? Rich grassland with anthills. Right. Don't think they're going to be out yet. It's a bit cold, but <laughs> keep our eyes peeled for those. Right. <laughs> Warn you now. It's a very steep ascent between the little the houses here and the peak up there. And beyond is about a k. You got about 600 meters of ascent within about a kilometer. So, hope you like to fit. Whew. Warning you in advance, everybody. About halfway now. Done about 240 meters of ascent from the valley bottom, which is down there from the houses. And I've still got probably around that to go to get to the top. I think it levels out a bit over there, but from the col to the next peak that I'm going up. Yeah, probably about 240-ish, 200. But, for that, for a view, there's Keswick over there. Nice cloud inversion. Just wish I'd done cat bells. Oh, always the way. You can't chase cloud inversions because you don't know where they're going to be. Corsi Pike, Great Gable, over that end. Cloud blowing over Skidor, looks amazing. Just about to see the top of Cat Bells, bit of cloud going over the top of it. And a nice cloud inversion over Keswick. Let's head on up here. Is this the right path? No, nope, path goes this way. Does it matter when you can see that anyway? Nah. Views over to Helvel in there. Oh, I better crack on. Well, as you can see, the sun on my face at last. Made it into the daylight. The snow's quite deep, probably half an inch or so. Here, anyway. There we go, calf out pike. Oh, is that done? Next, we're heading that way. Cuff head, and then come back this way. worse but 600 meters of ascent in a K from down in the valley oh that was hard going but hopefully now we're on the top it should be okay up to now I've not seen anybody else so we'll get cracking that way only to come back on ourselves cracking views of Skidor look at that cloud and the shadows on. Here we are. Trick point. It's a little windy up here. Start going up Great Dodge. Just turn around and look over my right shoulder. 
and it looks like the weather is going to be closing in a bit. So, us northerners, like we do, probably tight fit big coat instead of the fleece. Just done Watson's Dodd. I couldn't even speak because of the wind, it was howling. And um, we're just off now to Stye Barrow Dodd. So, yeah, you want to follow? See you tomorrow. Okay, not sure how much of this you're going to hear because the wind's howling. Right, just on the summit of Stye Barrow Dodd, um, I was going to add another one on, another weight ride, but it's pointless. Um, the weather's atrocious and I can't see a view of the line hardly. Still loving it though, so we've got a love line from the summit. Um, so we'll just carry on with the route. Um, I'll adjust the route and I'll show you on the um, screenshots in the corner where we actually went. Bypassed, so let's crack on and I will check in with you shortly. But the weather hasn't really allowed me to vlog very much this time round, so yeah, one of those in it, never mind. Okay, the wind's died down a touch now, so it's not blasting me. The ascent dropped a couple of uh, about 100 meters or so, it's a stick skill. Send up the other side to raise. Well, let's crack on, guys. Get her down here, get up to raise, and hopefully, we'll get a bit of clearer weather. It's freezing. Some of that snow up there is ridiculous. It's knee deep. You wouldn't expect that for the start of May. It is May. Raised banked, just need to do white side next. Just sat here having a bit of a, a rest. Snow gusting past. So, yeah. Not ideal conditions at all today. From white side, I think it's a descent then down to Thirlmere. Bit of a walk back along the along the road, and then that's where the car's parked. Check in with you shortly, guys. White side. If I have it, have it, should I say? Look at this. Literally can't see a thing. Hence why you need to have your wits about you. I 
Christ. We are just coming below the pile line. towards Thirlmere. Um We were meant to follow a route down a gill called Fisher Place Gill but I couldn't pick up the track and it wasn't very well defined so I'm um, looking on Neo West maps and on View Ranger which is the next best thing. So if you head down this one it's a lot clearer partially paved <laughs> we call this paved houses down there onto the main road and then up that direction and to the right where the road forks into and then that's where the car's parked yeah so I'm going to wrap the cording up now until we get back to the car or close to the car because there's not really much of note to show or tell you And at that point, it'll be where I ask you to like and subscribe. So click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications of when I put new videos on. Which is quite frequently of late. So I hope you enjoyed the walk. Um, bad conditions, a lot of snow. If you like videos containing snow, then You'll probably enjoy that. A bit more drone footage in that one because the weather was a bit more settled. And as always, appreciate the likes. Any comments, pop them in as well. Most of all, subscribe. I'll speak to you in a bit. Last leg, or last section on the B5322. Probably about 2k from where we left the ridge there and came back down to the road. Got uh, apprehended by an old guy who likes to the history for United Utilities, reservoirs, and people from Manchester that built them. So I tried to speed off, he was having enough of it. <laughs> Latched on and followed me probably half the way back. So, oh dear. Oh, well, as you can see, now we're down here. The weather's turned a bit. 
pants. Grizzly. I think you're falling asleep actually. There's snow here. Buckies. So everybody, thank you again for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Again, if you happen across the video or my channel, subscribe. The route I've done today we've put in the description. View range of route, so you can just follow that. Yeah, soaking. If you enjoyed the video. Weather conditions were a bit inclement and unseasonal for me. So. Yeah. If you like the content, like the channel, bother to subscribe. Is that 17.7k? 25,000 steps, I think that was. So just to let you know, appreciate everybody watching the videos. Click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I make a video. And hit a like for this one. And if you like my other if you like the videos, check out my other ones because I've got plenty on my channel. Cheers guys, see you next time. Bye bye.